Hello, this is a monophonic synthesizer. Each track can only play one note at a time. And this is a Launchout Pro. What this custom firmware allows us to do is to distribute the MIDI that enters the Launchpad Pro into separate MIDI channels that will go to the Digitech. Now we can do this. This firmware will work with any instrument as long as it supports multiple channels for its polyphony. In the Digitag, you can assign each track to be triggered by different MIDI channels. In this case, they are set up as 1 to 8 for the main uh, channels and channel 16 for automatic mode. That's why when we bypass the launch pad, only the track that is active is being played. The round-robin scheduling algorithm is used to cycle through the available voices, even when a single note is pressed. This allows voices with long releases to still ring out without being immediately cut by a newer note. Let's set up the amount of polyphony that we want. First, we enter setup mode. And here, you can select the MIDI start and MIDI end channels. In this case, we have eight channels of polyphony. But by moving the end point here, now we have four or three. On this bottom row over here, you can select the channels that are being listened to. So right now, I'm sending channel 16. So if I, if I have nothing selected and I try to play a chord, as you can see, it is still monophonic. Right? Nothing changes, but once I it's, it's bypass pass essentially. Uh, but if I switch back to that that listening channel, now I have my polyphony back. We can choose if, for example, if you want to have uh, some sort of MIDI pass through the bias, uh, and then you want to use another channels for controlling different synthesizers. You can do that. In this case, I'm just going to listen to all MIDI channels. Click setup to save the changes. This is a good opportunity to start talking about voice stealing. In case that we have limited polyphony, we might actually want to be able to play newer notes by replacing one of the notes that are already in place. If we press this button over here, we can switch between different modes of polyphony. The voice count indicates how many voices have been used on the main screen. In this mode, the oldest notes are discarded. In this mode, the highest notes are discarded. In this mode, the lowest notes gets discarded instead. And of course, you can always disable it. This firmware is a freely available as an open source project that you can compile. If you're interested in supporting this project, you can also do so by dropping a buck or two in the H2AO page to download a pre-compiled version that you can just immediately launch into your device. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.